This is my mom, Megan. Say hi. Hi guys, my name is Megan um, and Al and I are both with Breathe, Flow, Grow Yoga. And so today we're going to do a little unicorn yoga. And if you're wondering what this white thing is, it's a little rubber unicorn. Yeah, so Ella's brought a lot of our unicorn friends. So if you've got any little unicorn friends around your house, and you can you gather them up as well. And if you don't have a unicorn headband, you could just take a normal headband. Mm -hmm. Or you, you could do this, or you can just do, take your normal headband and do a little craft to make the horn. Yep, so you can make your own horn, or if you want to just act it out with your hands, you can also make you your hands like that. Yep, you can buy one too. <laughs> Alright guys, so today's class for unicorn yoga, we're going to do some really nice deep breathing. We're going to talk about what kind of unicorn we would like to be. We're going to do some fun stretches for a, what we call sun salutation. Then we're going to do the unicorn flow over here that Ella and I have already created for y'all. Well, first, well, we bought the book, but we added this to it. Yes, we, so we bought this book. book. Yep, yeah, we bought this book called Unicorn Yoga, and then you get to use a little spinner to pick which poses go in each of the boxes. Well, so you we can put pick, that together for you. You can just pick your favorite ones. Yeah, you could pick. Yeah, you could do that too. We did use the spinner today. Ones. Yeah, and then after that, we're going to have a little bit of um, a little bit of a guided story time. So we're going to get to close our eyes and use our imagination and imagine if we got to ride on the back of a unicorn. And also, if you want to know where we got that from the last video, I could tell you. So watch the last video to find out where we got that. Yes, that's, a, that's an excellent idea. All right, so guys, let's start by breathing. I want everyone to get into a comfortable seated position. So I like to sit on my knees when you do, and I do this, but you can sit crisscross applesauce or just have your legs out in front of you. I want you to put one hand on your heart. How do we put our hand on our heart? And if you guys talk and you mm -hmm. have your hand on your heart, you can hear a little vibrate, and then if you be quiet, you can feel a bump. Yep, you feel your heartbeat. That's and right. Get, and then you can know, know if your heartbeat is down. Yeah, you can feel your heart rate and how fast or slow it's going. Because we, what we're doing is we're connecting our mind to our body. So we're using our, our touch here by putting our hand on our heart and our belly. And then we're going to use our breath as well. So we're going to take a deep breath in. And then out. So we want you to do this with us, everybody. And then out. One more big breath. Nice and slow. And then breathe it all out. That's awesome. Our breath also helps us calm down when maybe we're anxious or nervous or a little bit excited. We can use that big breath and then let it out. Yes. Oh, so you put your, oh, so we put our hand on our heart to fill our heart. And that's right. We put our hand on our belly. I forgot that part. Thank you, Ella, for reminding me. To inhale, so we fill our bellies up full of air so we can fill our bellies expand with our breath and then Get small. Just like a balloon. Expand expand no, expand with your breath. So just like a balloon, expands when it fills full of air and then uh, out when it lowers. Alright guys, we want to know from you. Yeah. We want to know from you what kind of unicorn would you be? Ella, if you could be any kind of unicorn in the world, what would you like to be? I would be a pink unicorn. Um I would actually be an alicorn, a pink uh -huh. a baby pink alicorn, and then um then um, a unicorn, I mean alicorn is a unicorn's wings, so my wings will be baby pink, baby, uh -huh. baby blue, baby purple. Yeah. And my my mane will be the same, and then my horn would be um my horn would be um shiny pink, and then my ears would be gold with pink inside. Wow. Gold or eagle. Pink Your pink. unicorn has a lot of colors and <laughs> very expressive with those colors. My unicorn would be pretty simple. I would be white, and then I would have purple hair, just like that, and a long mane, and a long tail. I would have my mane down to like here. Yeah, I might have some silver streaks, or maybe some glitter in my oh, hair, wow. and then a long unicorn horn. We want to know what kind of unicorn y'all would. You can just call out to your screen, or your TV, or anything else like that, or tell your or friends screen and family. TV. Or scream to your TV, but don't ask your people. Mom and dad or babysitter to screw out the TV. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. All right, guys. It was so cool to hear about what kind of unicorn you would like to be. So we're going to stretch Talk now so that we can do our unicorn flow and we don't pull any unicorn muscles, right? So what we're going to do is we are going to stand up. So everybody, I want you to stand up. Kind of wiggle your feet out just a little bit since we've been sitting on them for so long. Well, if you guys are crystals, you can just wait for us to move Yeah, alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to reach up really tall in mountain pose and reach for the sky. Reach, 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 reach. Good job. You can say hello sky. Or you can touch your Or hello uh, sun. That's right. You hello. can say little horn. You can make hello, a horn horn. Hello unicorn in a rainbow. Yeah, hello up there. And then we're going to breathe all our air out. <sighs> all the way to the floor. And we'll tickle our toes and say hello toes. Alright guys, I want you to put your hands on the floor or your mat and 
jump your feet back into a big, strong push-up. I want to see how strong you are. And then slowly lower. See how slow you can go all the way down to the floor. <laughs> all right, let's take a big breath in and stretch our backs, looking back up to the sky. And then curl your toes under and push your seat high into the sky. And since we're unicorns today, we're gonna, yeah, you can wiggle your unicorn tail. We're calling this unicorn tail to the sky. Why talking about our tails? I know. You, why your tail? All right, we're going to jump our feet up just like a frog. Good job. And then stretch one more time. Say, so tickle your toes. And then reach up towards the sky. Great job, guys. Let's do that one more time. Ready? One more thing. If yes. you guys hear my mommy's new pop, comment down below. Yeah, I know, right? Mommy's knees popped. All right, reach up. That's what happens. And up to the sky. Say hello, sky. Hello, unicorn in the rainbow. Yeah, good job. And reach down low. Hello, toes. Hello, toes. Hello. All right, hands on the mat or the floor. Jump your feet oh. back into that big, strong push-up. And then slowly lower to the floor. Let's stretch our backs, looking up towards the sky. And then curl those toes under. Push that unicorn tail all the way up towards the sky. And wiggle it. Can you wiggle your unicorn tail? Yay! Awesome job. All right, let's jump those feet up one more time, just like a frog. Then stretch right, and unicorn. bend. And, and then rise up. If you are my unicorn's mom, I some slow. pop again. I know, I know. All right, guys, we got our unicorn flow for you today. And so today, what we're going to do is we're going to do unicorn warrior one, uh -huh. tail to the sky, we just did. sitting unicorn, warrior two unicorn, uh -huh. tree pose unicorn, and then we're going to do all of them in both little ways, and then we're going to do this one since it's both feet and both feet. That's right. So what Ella was saying is we're going to do these first five poses on one leg, and then we're going to switch feet and do it again. Well, and then we'll come one. down here. Well, now that one uses both feet. And this but, one too. Yep. And this one too. Yep. This one too. Wait. No. <laughs> You'll see what we're talking about. Don't worry, guys. Ella and I will show you the way. So our first pose here is Unicorn Warrior One. So I want everyone I want to bring their feet together. And we're going to we're gonna step our right foot back. what I'm doing. Yep. Can you put your right <laughs> foot back? There you go. All right. Right foot steps back. Arms go way up into the sky. We're pointing Hello, our unicorn. Hello. <laughs> yeah, we're pointing our unicorn horns to the sky too. All right, this is Warrior One, Unicorn Warrior One. And I want to see your big muscles. Oh, let's show them our muscles. Ah, good I job. All right. And our I'm next just... pose is tail to the sky. So follow Ella here. Hands come down to the mat, and we just step our foot back. And put your tail high into the sky. Can you wiggle your unicorn tail back Come on, and forth? I unicorn tail. There's <laughs> your unicorn tail. Good job. Next one is triple. So yeah. Triple so then we're gonna. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna sit as a sitting unicorn into chair pose, like we are sitting into an imaginary seat. So just lean back and pretend there's a seat there, and see how low. Good. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah right? Next time that should join us. <laughs> All right, guys, let's bring our hands to the floor. We're going to take our foot back and put our tail up to the sky. Good I job. <laughs> yep, now let's walk our feet up. Coming into our chair pose. So you can reach your arms out here or here. I like to bring my hands here. And let's see how low we can go. How low can you go without falling? I need your help. All right, guys. Reach out big and tall. We lost Stella. Let's take our left foot back into warrior two. So left foot comes back. Arms, my right arm comes forward. My left arm comes back. Big, strong warriors. Awesome job. Last one, nice and quiet and slow. We reach up into tree pose, our enchanted and tree pose. And there's an easy way to do tree pose. Um, to bend on one foot, look at something that's not moving and then look. And that's see. right. So Ella, Alice, what Ella's telling you to is to find something that's not moving and stare yes, at it. it like and that hands. will help you stay still as well. So oh, let's see goodness. how quiet and still we can be as enchanted trees in the enchanted unicorn forest. Maybe we close our eyes. Sounds like there's a unicorn coming uh, through. Sounds like it. Shh, we have to be quiet. Oh, such a good job, guys. Awesome. Bring that foot down and let's slowly come down towards the floor. Our last pose here, it's we're going to sit applesauce. crisscross applesauce into grateful unicorn. None of them actually wear hands together. <gasps> the only one actually. This one doesn't wear hands together, yeah. All right, in grateful unicorn pose, we close our eyes and think of all the wonderful things that we're grateful for. I'm grateful for my mom and Lenny yeah. and Santa giving me this unicorn. Yeah, I'm grateful for my daughter Ella. And one time, at, one time at a store, um, uh, I said, can you guys please get this for me? And you guys said no. And then I'm like, okay, but I'm still meaning me. I'm sorry. And then Santa gave it to me with a no. rainbow scarf on, so she's nice and warm. All right, so we'd love to know everybody. Just say something out loud that you're grateful for and thankful for as we slowly calm down and come into our last pose. And so this last pose isn't on our board because this is how we end all of our classes. I want each of you to close your eyes and if you'd like to, you can lay down onto the floor and we're just going to imagine for just a few moments what it might be like. Plus you take it in. Yeah, if you've got your unicorn friends with you, you can find one and curl up with it. Maybe you can turn down the lights. And I want to tell you a quick little story. Yay. about a unicorn that came to visit. I love your stories, Mom. Oh, thank you. So, I want y'all to just quietly, and you can close your eyes or you can look around, lay down onto the floor. Like this. Lay down nice and quiet. Take your little plushie, put uh -huh. its face towards you. Yeah. All right, nice and quiet, everyone. Shh. I want you to imagine that you're lying in a big meadow, an enchanted meadow, with lots of beautiful flowers and grasses everywhere. And we're going to imagine in our minds, so we're going to be nice and quiet, so that everybody can have their own imagination and story, okay? All right. We are laying in the field, and we feel the warm sunshine on our bodies. We feel the wind blowing. We can smell all the fresh flowers and plants around us. And slowly, we hear a click. And a unicorn comes and sits down next to us. Okay, we're going to be quiet, right? Remember, we're going to be quiet so that everybody can listen, all right? Then the unicorn comes and sits next to us and he introduces himself to whatever unicorn That's name that. you would like. And then the unicorn tells you that he would love for you to jump on his back and go for a ride. And so... Closing your eyes, you can imagine what color that unicorn is, what their name is, and slowly you go to take off into a walk or maybe a run into the enchanted forest. Or and as you're riding through the enchanted forest, you start to see an amazing waterfall. You see the water running over the sides and splashing into a pool. And this waterfall is a magical waterfall because it can take you anywhere you want to be in this world. 
So the unicorn says, let's go into the waterfall and we'll go wherever we want to go. And so you say, okay. And you and the, water, the unicorn walk into the waterfall. And from there, he takes you to your favorite place. And this can be any place on the world, any place you want to be. Your favorite restaurant. Your favorite restaurant, your favorite theme park. Maybe it's just at home in the pool. Favorite time of year and whatever it can be. I want you to imagine the smells of that place the sounds of that place, how it feels to be in that place. And you and the unicorn get to run around and play together in your favorite, most magical place. If there's a yard. Soon, though, it's time to go home. So after you're done running around, maybe you eat some food, smell the smells, play with all the things, you and the unicorn, you hop back on his back, you ride back through the other side of the waterfall, riding through the enchanted forest and back into the enchanted meadow where he slowly sets you down on the grass. And you lay down in the grass with the warm sun and the breeze, smelling the beautiful fresh flowers. And then slowly we open our eyes together and we Slowly, slowly roll to one side. Just imagining one more time that magical ride. And then I want each of you to slowly come up to your seat. So Ella, come on up to your seat, please, and sit down. And we're going to close this class in a breath together. All right. We're going to swing our arms up together, reaching up towards the sky, bringing our hands together. Bringing our hands down to our heart. The magical unicorn light in me honor sees the magical unicorn light in each one of you as well as you, Ella. <laughs> namaste, everyone. Thank you so unicorn much. Namaste. Unicorn namaste. Unicorn namaste. Thank you all so very much for joining us today in unicorn yoga. And stay and tuned. We've got many, many more yoga and classes. Have today. A, a magical day. That's right. Have a magical day.